Okay guys, bear with me. I'm just going to take you down to see if the World War II tunnels at ups and downs is open for us today. Because I always come here at night time. And because I come here at night time, I never make any videos. I've never been able to show anybody. So I just climbed over some gate to get into this woods. Um, pretty much opposite somebody's house. And they was in their front garden. This bit was fenced off as well to get into here. But there's a hole in the fence. So it's open guys. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this video because it's dark and I haven't got a torch. So I can either get some flash photos or see if I can get a light up on here. Bear with me. Okay guys, I just went down to those tunnels completely on my own and it is pitch black. I didn't go too far down, I was just coming past. So just a brief look into there. So I took some photos for you guys. Um, they're not very good. I don't have a torch. My phone torch is rubbish and I've just found out the flash is not very good either. So I'll come back at another date, maybe today, who knows, with my camera and with a torch. But um, just to say I've been here during the day and it's pretty cool. Right, we're back at the tunnels. I said I'd come back, came back the very same day after buying a torch because uh, I don't actually have one that's very good. So, yep, dodgy our steps. And this torch is pretty good. Couldn't even see where I was going earlier on. And that is a dead end room. Someone has written. Not sure what that is actually. Yeah. So this is the walkway in. And that, I don't know what that was. It's just a small room. But there's light fittings because. Uh, Obviously a World War II bunker for the people in Epsom, but they let people come down here and play organised airsoft in 2007 until 2012. If you look either side, you can go either way. Either side you find this, which sort of looks like the front of a house, but no door, no window. As you can see, it's the same on the other side. So you come down here. Interestingly, what I read on the internet was that, uh, well, you can go over way here too. What I read on the internet was that um, Epsom didn't actually have that many houses near this bunker. And so it was a complete actual sort of waste of time them building it. Because, uh, well, the review, well, the article on the internet was written from somebody who actually spent some time in here. And they said that when they was down here, there wasn't that many people. As you can see from the map, I put on the video beforehand, um, it's a little bit of a maze of squares. Yeah, it's that bit's chalky. We'll go this way first. You can go that way. This is where you can see the structure is quite interesting. It's got metal sheeting and metal beams. Seems very sturdy. I've never actually done a video down here, even though I come down here all the time. And so you can go either way here. That way is chalky. We'll go this way. Yeah. 
and uh, have a little look. This is where everyone likes to hide in little bits and jump out and scare each other, pretending it's haunted. It's obviously probably not, let's face it. And uh, this was one of the toilets. See, I'd say it's probably the boys' toilet. Um, there's nothing in these cubicles. Holes where toilets used to be. Not quite sure what somebody would want to steal all the toilets for, but you know. And then you come around here. So, we'll go this way. It's a little bit of a maze. You know, you've been around it a few times and, you know, we're back to the beginning, but here we go. But, when you've been around it a few times, you seem to think you know the way. And, uh, did we actually go in there? That way? Mm. I don't think we did. Let's take a look at the beginning bit. Because I sort of veered off to the right. No, no, I did come here. So this would have been... This is a can crusher. And this would have been like the main canteen room. Like some sort of queuing system, these bars, I think. Not sure. But there's all kinds of shit down here that was not obviously here before. Um, and everything that was here before is unfortunately gone. So we'll go to Chalky Way this time. And if you look at the map, you probably know where you're going a little bit better than I do right now. Because no matter how many times you come down here and you know it's just a load of squares, you still get lost. Because it doesn't... I mean, that would be where we came from in the beginning. So we go this way. And before you know it, you've seen the whole thing. But it is actually quite hard. See, that goes the whole length of the square and this goes the whole length of the square in the other direction and that would as well This is a weird one. Looks like it might go somewhere, doesn't it? Well, do you know what happened? We stuck someone up there. Do you know where it comes out? It comes out up there. Completely pointless. Sort of the middle area. But like I say, no matter how many times you come down here, you still don't fully know completely where you're going. So let's go this way. But I said I'd take a video of the actual inside of the tunnels. I did a silly one a long time ago if you look at my YouTube channel. But it's just a load of me and my mates just pissing about really. You can even see the tunnels. I don't think you can even see the walls. So this is the corner that we haven't been down. Yeah. The other toilets are in it somewhere. I mean, the whole thing's symmetrical, but once you've taken a few rights and lefts, you forget where the hell you've just been. But we'll see if we can find our way back to the beginning.
It's an interesting place. You never know when someone's going to jump out on you because they're also doing the same explore you're doing. And obviously they think it's hilarious. Sometimes it is, to be honest. But um, it's a creepy place with no phone signal. If you come down here on your own like I did earlier on, especially with a not very good light, you realise this place is quite terrifying. But it's just a maze of squares. And let's see, we're back at the communal area. Just have a little look in here. Yeah. So, to wrap this up, I might take a walk to the beginning, just to show you that, like I say, you can go either way. And yeah, there's a loft. It doesn't go anywhere. Literally, it's almost like a platform for the supporting beams. This wall, I think, if there was a blast and anything came down this, down, down here, it hit that wall behind us. That's why you've got to go either way around the edge of it. It's very clever. And uh, it was built at the same time as the Causton Tunnels, which will be my next video. So, I've also been there a hundred times, never taken a video. Go figure. But yet yeah, I go somewhere miles away and take loads. So, this is the tunnels that is right on my doorstep. And uh, stay tuned, because we'll do Causton next. And uh, yeah, the point I was getting to, is it's the the same sort of layout but stay tuned